Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. This is RJ at SingleDad.com, and today I'm going to teach you how to make fast, easy carne asada. That's right, we're going to make carne asada today, and I'm going to show you a quick recipe on how to make, quick and simple, the best carne asada you're going to have with only about an hour's worth of prep time and marinade. A uh, couple things. First of all, I like to make two separate recipes. One, I like to make a mild recipe, and then the other one, I like to make spicy. So, believe it or not, the easiest marinade to use for carne asada is by the jarred jalapenos. This is uh, Marzetta deli sliced jalapeno peppers. It's pickled. I use the sliced version. This is my hotter recipe. And believe it or not, putting this in a bag with Ziploc and the recipe I'm about to show you, very simple, easy to prep. So I put one Ziploc with my hot jalapenos and my other mild recipe, I just use your deli, uh, the deli sliced mild pepper rings. And you'll see the label, it will say mild. So the jalapenos will say hot, the pepperoncinis will say mild. Small prepper, easy ingredients. I use white or a Texas sweet onion, doesn't matter which one. I use the red onion, because it's a sweet and milder onion. I use green onion. Love the green onion. I'll take tomatoes, dice them up, and that will be for our carne asada um, medley after we cook the meat. And I take cilantro. And as you can see here, I've already prepped some of the green, uh, the green onions. And I've already chopped three to four tomatoes. Now, a couple things when you need to remember when you're cooking carne asada, there's two things you got to remember. We've got to pound the meat, and we've got to keep the onion wet. So the two rules of carne asada is keep that onion wet and, <laughs> and pound the meat. So I'm going to show you a quick recipe on how we prepare the meat. Okay, easiest recipe on the meat. I basically take the regular carne asada meat that you'll find at the store. I'm feeding a family of four, so I'm using about a pound and a half to two pounds. It's more than enough meat to make more than four burritos. But I, again, I'm taking your regular carne asada meat. So it's going to be a top round, a little bit of marbling. Uh, some of the better meats you can use, uh, of course, you can take a, uh, a tri-tip as well. Um, but I like to just use what's ever convenient and it's on sale in the store because on a single dad, single parent budget, we'll just take just a nice, easy, affordable meat. So what we do is we take out our meat and we have two seasonings. Like I said, we have to pound the meat. That's right. We pound the meat. I'm going to take my jacar. This is called a jacar, and this is called jacardi. Just kidding. We're going to take the jacar. We're going to spread out the meat, and we are going to pepper it in oregano. Two spices commonly used in all Mexican food. So we take the black pepper. And we take the oregano. Watching my past recipes, we always rub the meat. A little rubbing never hurts. Take a jacar. Now we have taken care of our meat. Next off, what we're going to do is we're going to place it into a Ziploc bag, drop one of our peppers in, and add one beer. One beer. Um, this is not going to harm the kids, it's just using for the marinade. And we're going to throw between the peppers, the beer, into the bag. We're going to throw some onions in it and our two ingredients and throw it together and we only need one hour of marinade. That's all you need one hour to get a good carne asada flavoring on it. And we'll try that next. Okay, we're back. We just got through cutting up the meat and now what we're going to do is finish out the medley. So like I said, we take a white onion and a red onion and we make a medley like this of the onions. And the thing we talked about is you've got to keep your onion wet. There's nothing worse than a dry onion. And I'm talking about this. So the best way to keep away from the onion pins is keep your blade wet. wet. Keep your blade wet and your onion wet when you're chopping them. So just take nice coarse chops, throw it in the medley of red onion. Just like that. Grab it, put it in the rest of the bowl, 
So now what I have is a nice medley of red, white, I call the Texas Sweet Onion medley. Notice no tears, not crying. And get my blade wet. Of course, use separate cutting tools for the vegetables as you do with me. So, now that I've taken care of my, my little onion medley, I'm going to bring back my meat and I peppered it, I cut it into squares, and I have two separate recipes here. And one of the things I also like to throw on top of my, um, my peppered beef is I'm going to throw a little garlic salt and a little fresh garlic. Garlic salt. So I took about, oh, that was about a tablespoon, and a little minced garlic, and got to rub the meat. So, there's my meat prepped, grab my Ziploc, throw my meat in, this is going to be the spicier version with the jalapenos, take my beer, pour it in, save a little bit for the chef, Ooh. grab my spicy jalapenos, drop it in, just like that. Take a spoon, drop some of my onions in. I'm going to save about half of my onion medley because I'm going to make that after I serve the carne asada with the tomatoes, the cilantro, and the green onion. Wouldn't even hurt to add a little bit of the green onion into the mixture just for flavor. Now, you have a true carne asada medley. Throw this in the fridge. Do the same thing for the lighter version of the peppers, the milder version. You now have carne asada. A nice, let me see, that's a good pound of carne asada there. Um, I put it right on a flat uh, iron grill. Just put a little uh, olive oil. Um, throw a little bit of uh, garlic back on there. Toss the meat on. Make sure you cook it at least I want to say at least at a high temperature heat, uh, you want to at least get the core temperature of the meat at least 125 degrees. So keep it on the grill for a good five, seven minutes on a high temperature and you'll be fine. And I'll take pictures and show you how that went. Okay?